we all know that the population grows by the second. For today's episode, we're going to visit the jam-packed megacity of Shenzhen, China. By 2035, China's government expects 70% of its population to be living in cities. That's about 1.1 billion people. The rate of urbanization shows no signs of slowing down. The results? Undeniable pollution, hour-long traffic jams, and overpopulation. So, what are the solutions for these fast-growing cities? China is looking for ways to develop entirely new urban areas to provide homes and jobs in an economic, friendly way. A new neighborhood is being built in the Guangdong province in a city called Shenzhen, China. A new district called the Net City. A 2 million square meter master plan city along the Danchuan port near the Baoan district. Equivalent to the size of Monaco, this city within a city is set to occupy reclaimed land of the Pearl River estuary. The Net City is an urbanization project by Tencent, the face behind instant messaging app WeChat and QQ. With 86,000 employees as of 2020, Tencent partners with an architectural firm called NBBJ to create an urban city where Tencent employees could work, live, and play. This next level project will be completed in three phases over the next seven years. The concept of Net City is to build an interconnected, human-focused ecosystem where people can dream, gather, and connect as a community. There will be monuments, parks, shops, schools, and entertainment facilities throughout the campus to create a happy place to live, work, and play. The Net City is a next generation innovation that could change cities of the future forever. According to Jonathan Ward, a design partner at NBBJ, sustainability is the primary driver of the design. The Net City will feature a residential neighborhood with amenities. It is also a city that calls for simplistic, efficient zoning to facilitate the flow of people and the less use of automobiles. Even Western countries like the United States and Europe are creating car-free zones to reduce today's gruesome traffic. This fascinating city aims to create the betterment of the environment by minimalizing the use of cars as much as possible, by prioritizing cyclists, pedestrians, and transit passengers, you will see more sidewalks and bike lanes from the net city. What is the goal in all of this? Well, it's to participate in a greener and safer environment and eliminating unnecessary traffic, just the society we need for our future. With project buildings and nature-filled spaces, this grand urban city is designed for humans more than traffic. Tencent employees are given public transit networks, integrated subways, buses, and ferries to transport to their respected buildings. After all, planning a city with few cars provides flexibility for creating solutions to keep an organic and human-focused society. During their free time, employees can venture to the parks and reconnect with nature. With the Tencent building plan being 30 stories high, this ultimate skyscraper is going to have glass-covered rooftops, high-quality solar panels, and a genius system to capture and reuse water. This next-level futuristic community even has environmental sensors to track environmental performances and predict projections if there were to have a possible rise in the sea level. By planting mangrove trees along the shores as a natural flood defense, a foolproof community emerges for the impending environment dangers of our future. With green spaces, wetlands, and recreational park, Tencent employees will thrive in a workplace balancing between work and fun, a vital hub for Shenzhen, China. What are the results? Well, employees emerge with fresh mindsets, motivations to work, and develop creative perspectives, transforming companies for future generation. This master plan city is not the only sprawling campus in China. I introduce to you 
Huawei, one of the largest telecommunication manufacturers in the world. They have opened one of their newest facilities in April of 2019. The Oxhorn Research and Development Campus by Huawei is an innovative art of transformation and culture. With a gorgeous European-themed society, the Oxhorn Research and Development Campus created 12 separate towns to sightsee. You can find the replica of Versailles from Paris, the Liberty Bridge in Budapest, and other amazing landmarks from Europe in Huawei's community. Do you think all workplaces are plain and boring? Well, not in China. With each town modeled after castles, monuments, bridges, and trademarks of Europe, you would forget this city is a workplace for Huawei employees. You can truly say how innovative China has become in accomplishing goals for the people, environment, and the economy. This truly is a revolution. What do you think of this new way of life? Can you imagine an economic and urban society to balance work and play? Would you want to work in a society like this? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd learned something, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Reportify Media. Until next time.